Hi, I'm Kitty Greenwald and this is Slow Food Fast. Today we're making lentil soup stewed with Parmesan rinds, onions, and garlic. And to complement the soup, we're making an aioli, which is a garlicky mayonnaise slathered over top of a whole wheat or dark bread toast. This recipe comes from a New York City chef, Ignacio Matos. His restaurant is Isa in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Ignacio prepares fairly elaborate dishes that require a full staff of well-trained chefs, but the recipes he's sharing with us are straightforward and utterly yummy and made for the home cook. I'm gonna swirl in two tablespoons of olive oil into my nice pot, and to that, I've, we've pre-sliced one and a half yellow onions, fairly thin. I'm not gonna color the onions. They're gonna stew sort of slowly. What I really like about this recipe is that it puts to use your Parmesan rinds. So when you buy a hunk of Parmesan, there's always a sort of dry bit that's stamped with Parmigiano Reggiano on the back. In this instance, we're actually even using it as an ingredient. and It'll sort of melt into the soup. Cube it into small little bite-sized pieces. Um, if you have a big hunk of Parmesan and not much rind, you can just substitute regular Parmesan for the rind. The seasonal ingredient that this recipe features is green garlic. Green garlic sort of looks like leeks with, with a little bit more of a bulbous end at the base. For more information on garlic, click on the link below uh, and we'll talk about both green garlic, which is fresh and lighter, and more mature garlic which is what you are probably accustomed to see and looks something like this. So now I'm gonna add six cloves of garlic that has been peeled and thinly sliced. You saute that until it's nice and aromatic for about two minutes. I'm standing by, and maybe it's actually been a little less than two minutes, but I'm starting to smell the garlic. So at this point, I'm gonna stir in my lentils de puits you can use any lentil here. Ignacio said when he cooks this recipe at home, he cooks with red lentils. And I'm also gonna stir in my Parmesan rinds. I'm not gonna season this till the end because Parmesan is fairly salty. But I am gonna add now my cooking liquid, which is a cup of white wine. and six cups of water. And all that will simmer for about 20 minutes as the lentils cook. You're also creating a really flavorful broth. While that gets going, I'm gonna toast cumin. This is a tablespoon of cumin seeds. You just wanna toast it until it's aromatic and it's starting to brown in places. and then crush the seeds. You crush the seeds so that they release their perfume. You get a lot more flavor if you've broken it up and they get to release their oils. Okay, so this has started to boil. And now I'm just gonna take off the lid and watch it go. I'm gonna prepare the aioli, which will make for a really nice crouton to be served alongside the soup. What essentially aioli is, it's a garlic mayonnaise and you want a room temperature egg. Everything is better if you do it room temperature. Take out the yolk. And what we're gonna do is add a splash of water, not much, just to break up the yolk, and whisk it together. When you're making an aioli, you slowly incorporate olive oil into your egg yolk. Very slowly initially, because you don't want your aioli to split. And when I say slowly, you're gonna see what I mean. It's really drop by drop. And you do it like so until it thickens considerably. So very slowly, whisking all the while. I'm now gonna do some seasoning. I'm gonna add garlic paste into the aioli, some more salt, and I'm gonna add a squirt of lemon. Stir it in. Voila. Aioli, assembled. Soup, still simmering. Now, I'm gonna add my cumin to the soup. 
It's about 10 minutes from being done. Stir it in. I'm gonna add some salt. I'm gonna get my toast out of the way so that we have the toast ready. And Ignacio likes a dark bread, which actually goes well with the flavor profile here. I like my toast about a, between a quarter of an inch and half an inch thick. You can grill your toast or put it under the broiler until it crisps up or put it in a toaster. I'm gonna fry mine in a bit of oil. So, there it is. Soup is ready. Top it off with plenty of cheese. Good drizzle of olive oil. Cilantro leaves and delicious aioli. Crouton. Mm. I love aioli. It's a really nice unpretentious meal that anyone can make, but makes her very happy eating. And this, I think, is what home cooking is all about. So, here's to garlic, and thank you Ignacio Matos of Isa in Brooklyn. <laughs>